this amazing arena here in Butlins, Minehead! For the Coral UK Open, it's time to meet our players. Ladies and gentlemen, a winner of a PDC Challenge Tour event. Time to meet the bomber, Ron Mullenkamp. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the former UK Open champion and five-time champion of the world, Raymond! And be a sizeable following for this match in the Netherlands and two men keeping an eye on this one for us Chris Mason and Stuart Pike well thanks Jackie yes uh, total drama wasn't there between uh, Jana Klassen and Vincent van der Voort and that really was the winning dart for van der Voort the only time he was ahead in the entire match and that's what matters Raymond van Barneveld will be a big big favorite uh, I'm sure to join Van der Voort in round five in the last 16 against Ron uh, Moulenkamp. Barney, two times winner of the UK Open. But you have to go back 10 and 11 years for those triumphs uh, for Raymond van Barneveld. Uh, Ron Moulenkamp enjoys this stage. We've seen him perform uh, really well, the left-hander at the Players' Championship. More of that to come, but... Had to start in round one, and so far, so good. Just to let you know, before this game kicks off, by the way, Joe Cullen, 8-5 up on Christo Reyes, Kirk Shepard and Ian White, five apiece. If you are just joining us, uh, these are the players so far through to the last 16. Daryl Gurney, Alan Norris, Gerwin Price, Kim Hybrex, the aforementioned Vincent van der Voort, William O'Connor, Martin Lukeman, total unknown Last before this tournament, but he beat this. Chris Dobie. Alan Tabern, rolling back the years, and Rob Cross, who had such a good run here 12 months ago. They are all through to the last 16. Mullenkamp to get us underway against one of the greatest of them all. I was just watching uh, Cullen V. Reyes. It was quite some match. Absolutely incredible standard. Big crowd up there watching that one. Well, that's not bad for starters. A statement of intent. Maybe. One hundred. Well, Barney at it again. Here he goes. Well, we've already seen William O'Connor and Michael Smith wire double 12 for nine darters on day one. Alan Norris had six perfect darts in his victory over Benito van der Pass. And here in the very first leg, Raymond van Barneveld, no stranger to televised nine darters. Let's see what he can do. Trouble 20, trouble 19. 
huge disappointment all round. Barley's hit five televised nine darters. Could be a ten. But he hit seven perfect darts. Apologises. Oh, goodness. How far this game has come. For a ten. Revenue require 32. Yeah. You don't want to hit seven perfect darts and lose the leg. Here's the reaction. Otherwise, it might be Mullenkamp apologising. <laughs> Not uh, now. Can't take out the 120 now. 42. Well, for an absolutely Maybe average 13 dart leg, then. Yeah. That will do nicely. Yeah. You take them every day, all day. Well, it looks, from what I'm hearing, we have another man through to the last 16. And there it is, confirmation, Joe Cullen, 10-5 winner over Christo Reyes. Ian White ahead for the first time at 6-5 against Kirk Shepard. And... Well, we'll keep you abreast of Paul Hogan against Adrian Lewis. And the other match is still to be played. Simon 16. Whitlock against Dirk van Dwijen Bode. And Jermaine Votimina against Michael Smith. And, of course, Chris Mason and Keith Dello will be making the draw for the last 16. 140. Ah, I'm, I'm big in form. Change of hands. Della Axed, Warren a little, <laughs> and Mason 16. will be doing the draw. Shoot Allen in. That's right. Just means they can blame you and Allen. Exactly. 139. So does mine. Well, it might tomorrow. <laughs> Our annual killer competition this evening. No lives will be lost. Ladies and gentlemen, it's just a friendly game of darts. 17 for tops, 2 nil, and a 12 dart lag. 62. Be another one of them 13 dart legs. Rather unlucky for a Moulin camp at the moment. You settled for that all the way through. Oh goodness, so would we. 14, revenue required 20. When Barnabas in this mood, it's hard to ever see why he gets beat. Phenomenal. 26 remember, starts, two legs. Milton Camp, fair to say, enjoys this stage. Last 16 of the Players' Championship final here on ITV4 at the end of November. Beat Bunting, beat Gary Anderson, lost eventually to Peter Wright. He could have potentially had a 22 dart leg of 1,001 with two doubles. 100. Moon and Camp needs to get a chalk on the board. Otherwise, 100. he's blown away. The hurricane came Ivert through. Impressively, 110 average earlier. Yeah, 110.29 in beating Ted Everts 10 1. 16. Well, just joining us, more drama on board two. Yellow Klassen 4 0 and 6 2 up on Vincent van der Voort. The van der Voort with a ton plus finish in the deciding leg to win. 140. 106 to be precise. After Klassen had missed one dart at tops for the match. Barnley's a contender, 16. isn't he? Yeah, always. Back in 2006, he beat Barry Bates to win the UK Open in Bolton. Came back 12 months later and beat Vincent van der Voort to retain his title. Oh, and he had that incredible spell. It was the year he won the Worlds as well. World Championship. But he's not, you know, it's not unusual 16. for Ray to, you know, have a, a lean spell and then come back and win one. And, you know, he did it with the Premier League, didn't he? Well, interestingly, in, in round three, he, he drew Barry Bates. He was trailing as well, 5-3. But yeah. 
put together a great run Wakanda. to win 10-6. Roger McFarlane, needs to set this up, as you know, RVB is going to put him under pressure. Needs a trouble. He needs to get himself a dart at oh the dear. double. 49. I remember those matches in the Players' Championship against Bunting, and especially against Anderson, he didn't miss anything. No. Not a bad dart for Barney, he can, he's so tall he can actually lay the dart on top of the previous one. He's thinking about the bull, isn't he? Yeah, he should be. 65, Rondi require 94. Oh my goodness. Well, that's a gamble, that's a gamble. Which way did he go? <laughs> he went for two double 19s. 54. He's made a, a right mess of that. 16. Will he be punished? Answers on a postcard. Trouble 20 for his favourite double 18. <clears throat> Bemused, especially 16. after the scoring in the first two. Yeah. That's what he was doing on the stage a few months ago, but that'll settle him down. As Chris put it, a chalk on the board. He's got a leg. Just waiting for that Barney surge. Sixty. A good 60, and well thrown, there's no reward. No good for Barney, that one. That's perfect. One Slammed him just shy of 101, Van Barneveld. Rob Mullenkamp way, way behind, as far as the scoring is concerned, but what matters is he's only one leg behind. 100. Lovely, thrown with real aggression. Fifty-nine. For those of you that tried to get tickets 90. and uh, were told it's sold out, I can assure you it is, but we've got two... He's left tops. Got another one in the hand. We've got 50. two other venues here where... They're pretty full themselves. Board two, which is stage two. And then we've got the other room with the uh, the other two boards in. Four boards going today. Yeah, just to let you know, over on board two, the game between Paul Hogan and Adrian Lewis just about to start. As Raymond Van Barneveld makes it 3-1. The moment looking very comfortable against his compatriot Ron Mullenkamp. Well, his three winning legs have come in 39 darts for Barneveld. Three 13 dart legs. Do you remember what that feels like? <laughs> no, he's I still do it now. Trust me. 301. <laughs> it looks comfortable. Very. 114. Oh, pass. Well, we have a great chance for someone, you know, names that you would never have predicted before a dart was thrown on Friday through to the last 16. You know, no disrespect, but the likes of William O'Connor, Martin Lukeman, Alan Tabern, Rob Cross 16. doing the business again. All in with a shout. Well, if you're in it, you can win it. A few scores coming in now. Oh, just that, getting underway. That game just uh, about to start. Whitlock, remember, two seed. And Ian White. 16. Nudging ahead against Shepherd. Kurt Shepard. Oh, 
Mullenkamp can get out of this little mini session. 3 2. He's had a result. He'd be delighted. 15 points behind on the averages. Give or take. There we have it. 100. Yeah, Rondy important Ricardo like this. Mm. Both on a finish. On the Mullenkamp throw, so far, Barneveld's been pretty ordinary. On his own throw, he's been spectacular. 77. Looking for the Remy treble 14. Mm. Well, we wanted this in the very first leg for a nine dark. You probably do it now. Oh, well, that one was closer. 89. Ron, you require 48. Well, as you say, if Mullenkamp can to win this leg, He'll be thrilled to be only a leg behind. Huge dart. 38. Revenue mm, require 50. Could this be the moment? Mullenkamp will be dwelling on that in the break. Fine adjustment. Chance missed. He knows it. What a chance to go 4 1 up, Barney. He didn't really attack that double 16, and the way his darts lie, you can throw a player to really go at it. Well, he does get away with it. Ron Mullenkamp is averaging 82, just 82, but somehow he's still in this. But Raven Van Barnevel has missed an opportunity or two, but Barney does have the advantage of one break of throw. He leads by three legs to two.